Welcome to the update. Nath Gardner with you. Action is being promised by the NRL over racist comments levelled at South Sydney star Latrell Mitchell. One fan was ejected after a comment was made while players were leaving the field at half-time in Thursday night's clash against the Panthers. League boss Andrew Abdu says it's purely unacceptable. And once we know all of the facts around what was said and by whom, we will think very carefully about what the appropriate action is for that. This is also an opportunity for us to educate people too. Moving to a four-day working week is gaining traction. As part of a rethink about employment in Australia, a parliamentary committee is seeking a trial in the public service while maintaining pay. Green Senator Barbara Pocock says any trial would involve volunteers. Trying to see what are the issues, what, what is the impact on productivity, what does happen to workers' wellbeing. Um, but, you know, with that, unless we have a go... Uh, we're never going to make moves in the right direction. Australia's move to buy nuclear-powered submarines from America is being slammed by China. English-language Chinese newspaper The Global Times labelling the federal government as blindly following the US. Five Virginia-class vessels are expected to arrive here by the mid-2030s to fill a capability gap. In a sign legal action against Donald Trump is nearing, New York prosecutors have signalled to the former US president that he could face criminal charges and offered the chance to testify before the grand jury next week. It's over his alleged role in the payment of hush money to a porn star. It's been revealed Aussies up their smoking levels over the first months of the COVID pandemic. Nicotine use increased by 30% during the first half of 2020. And speaking of vices, there are fears of a global coffee shortage, with crops being affected due to climate change. To Sport Now, and it's brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply, and remember, gamble responsibly, call 1800 858 858. The Aussie cricketers are wearing black armbands at the fourth test in India. It's after the death of Pat Cummins' mother, Maria. The skipper left India to return home to be with his mum in palliative care. It's a Friday night doubleheader in the NRL as round two continues. The Eels face the Sharks, followed by the Broncos at home to the Cowboys. Meantime, a proposal for a mandatory period of 11 days rest after a head knock is reportedly being considered by the ARL Commission. Sydney Roosters coach Trent Robinson fully supports the move but thinks it should already be in place. This is a sort of a funny one for a coach because you have your opinions, you have over the years, but there's people that know this much better than I do but you want to leave it up to the independent doctor and you want the doctors to tell you what should happen. And in tennis, Thanasi Kokonakis has reached the second round at Indian Wells. He'll next face Spaniard Carlos Alcarez. In entertainment news, Alec Baldwin will face a two-week evidentiary hearing in May over the shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Prosecutors are seeking to show there is enough evidence to try him. And fans of The Last of Us are gearing up for the final show of Season 1, which airs next week. A second season was confirmed back in January. We'll see you tomorrow for another episode of The Update.